I came from a family that there were five children, and uh, I think I initially used uh, artwork as, as a method of getting attention. My father uh, wanted to be an artist and painted a little bit when he was a young man. His first wife told him that he'd better go out and get a job, you know, so he had to give all that up. I'd like to say I had a happy childhood. It wasn't, it wasn't happy at all. It, uh, my father was an alcoholic and uh, uh, he left when I was about 11 years old. Our father was pretty abusive when he was drunk and uh, uh, and I've got a lot of blank spots uh, where I just don't remember the incidents. My sister tells me things that happened and I, I don't remember. There was a philanthropist in Plainview named uh, Mr. Klinger and he uh, purchased a uh, correspondence course for me uh, and I started that at age 13. Uh, uh, finished when I was 17. It was the uh, famous artist course with Norman Rockwell and that bunch and uh, I would do the lessons and send them off in the mail and they would criticize them and send them back to me, you know. I was kind of uh, pushed along as a kind of a child prodigy, I don't know, I just I uh, got a lot of notoriety in school and uh, uh, would sell my work to the other students, you know, for, for a nickel or a quarter, or, you know, it wasn't very much money. I wasn't a very good academic student. I uh, uh, had, a, had a miserable time with uh, algebra in high school, and uh, I went into the distributive education program where I worked half a day and went to school half a day. And so socially, I, I didn't get a chance to interact with the students too much, you know, because I was I was working or going to school. Well, since my baby left me, well, I found a new place to dwell. Well, it's down at the end of Lonely Street, that heartbreak hotel. Around the time I was 15 years old, Elvis Presley burst on the scene with Heartbreak Hotel, and you ain't nothing but a hound dog, and uh, and and I was you know, just reached puberty and it was, you know, it was like a atomic bomb going off in my head. I worked at Sears and uh, there was a woman at Sears, she, she remarked that uh, I walked around like I had a radio in my head. <laughs> my brother and I got to see I was live in concert at Lubbock uh, Fair Park Coliseum. Not too long after that, maybe a year, uh, I was about 17 and uh, Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee Lewis and uh, uh, Roy Orbison came to Lubbock and, and gave a concert. And uh, that was the first time I'd heard of them either, you know, so I had an early relationship with music. My first wife, uh, I met her in art school at, in L.A. and uh, she was a Japanese American and a ceramist and uh, so anyway we married uh, about a, six months after we got out of school. It was kind of tough getting a job there and I uh, uh, finally did, got worked at, in a studio there for about a year and a half and uh, decided to go out on my own and freelance. I went to A&M Records and, and uh, showed them my work and they immediately gave me a job and by word of mouth I, I started doing work for Columbia Records and uh, uh, Capitol Records and Warner Brothers and it was all just word of mouth, you know. But I also did work for Honda, Toyota, Chevrolet, whatever came down the pipe basically was what I did. I, I was a jack of all trades, but eventually I wound up doing work for The Doors. That was probably the probably the most major one I, I 
was able to do. It was a memorial album, and uh, it's called uh, uh, Full Circle. I did Aretha Franklin, and uh, uh, did the back cover of the Steely Dan, and uh, uh, did a Beach Boys poster, uh, Kenny Loggins, or Loggins and Messina, and uh, Seals and Seals and Croft, and I did the first Cheech and Chong album at the, for that was for A and M Records, and uh, uh, and these all just kind of, I get one here and one there, and, and uh, uh, was able to make a living at it. You know, it wasn't a, I didn't make a huge amount of money. When I when I wanted a couple of my uh, paintings back, that kind of ruined the relationship with the uh, the record companies. So I didn't get any more work from them, and uh, consequently, uh, I was going through a problem in my marriage, and uh, that was falling apart. And all this kind of happened all at once. I, I eventually lost my business and my marriage and my house, and and it was pretty much a a total collapse.